What's up, guys, and welcome. Um, sorry if you heard mic noise there. Uh, well, what episode is this? You know, to be honest, I don't even know. I don't even number the thumbnails. I think I'm just gonna make a new set of thumbnails, make them look better. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're back right where we left off. Um, and I'm actually, um, I'm actually recording an episode without my sub, the Inferno ask me to put one up because usually he's the one that reminds me all the time anyway let's just uh let's keep moving here now a thing about this let's play uh i intend to finish it will i do all the dlc for it we'll see we'll see how that goes but i, in I intend to finish it i do crap i know i i don't some of you who's some of you may know uh, if you've been with me that long I had like a like an ultimate vault under mode pirate speedy let's play that I never finished ever and that's just you know sitting there uh somewhere oh no what what no way no 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 we're not I'm not dying here that yeah, screw turtle shield um yeah that, that never got finished I think our weapons are finally what what level are these? Ten, I think. Yeah, it's about time we get new weapons. Um, but yeah, this is gonna get finished. But it's gonna be put on the side. It's gonna be put like on the back burner for a little bit once the 25th hits and I do the um, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragons Keep Let's Play. I'm so used to healing when I shoot with this guy that it's crazy. Maybe I should go spend a golden key or two. Nah, I think we'll be fine. What am I saving this for? Huh? There's plenty of dudes around here. Let's go. Fight me. At PAX East. Fight me at PAX East. Uh, but, um... Yeah, so this is going to be put on the back burner. And it'll pick back up once I complete Tiny Tina's uh, DLC. And for that thing, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm d I'm debating here. I'm debating whether it's gonna be my Mecro or my Gunzerker. Now I would prefer the Mecro, but I know if I use the Gunzerker, it'll be easier to kill the raid bosses or raid boss, depending on how many there are. When I get to the end of the DLC, and I want to just piss on that raid boss, it may take a few tries, but I want to piss on him. Um, and see exactly what he drops. Uh, the Ogre, which is a new legendary assault rifle. That was in Borderlands 1. Uh, it was an Atlas back then, and now it's a Torg, but it would have been better as an Atlas, but there's no Atlas guns in this game, as you can see, which was a terrible decision, but whatever, I'm not complaining. Um, but yeah, the Ogre, I'm, I'm assuming that drops from Invincible. Uh, the magic spells, there are purples, blue, and legendary versions. Like Some have like two different versions, but they're both the same thing, uh, except less powerful, you know? So, what I'm thinking is the legendary versions drop from the Invincibles, and the uniques may drop from a certain, like, weaker boss, or, like, you know, it's a quest reward. We'll see, we'll see. Either way, I'm going to do everything the DLC has to offer. I'm going to go through that, because that's going to be my first time ever playing it, of course. Uh, when 6.30 hits on the 25th, because 6.30 is when the Xbox Live Marketplace, um, what's it? When the Xbox Live Marketplace refreshes, I don't know if that's the same for the Borderlands, um, for the Borderlands store, because that's where I'm gonna get it off of, because I have the season pass. You know, I'm gonna beat the poop out. Of no, I'm not. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. Why do you, Why do you do this? Why do you do this to me? Come here and let me kill you. Thank you, sir. I'm not even gonna be able to kill him. Yeah, I am. Oh yeah, MLG Pro. MLG Pro. Am I under leveled? I saw him drop a gun that was well shield that was over my level. I'm under leveled. We gotta do side missions. Flame of the Firehawk, anybody? No. I'm not I'm not gonna get that. It's already too late. It wouldn't really be effective. Sorry. I wish that wouldn't like I wish this uh it would scale to my level so when I do go get it it'll be my level. Then I'd save it for like around twenty, twenty five, maybe. Level twenty but no. It's already useless now, pretty much. I don't even have a moxie weapon to heal myself with. Uh not quite there yet. Wow, uh, yeah, we need to do side missions. We need a fast travel station, which we're coming up on one right now. But what was I saying? 
Yeah, everything in that DLC is getting done. Now, I do have the weapons, guys. I do have a good amount of the weapons. And um, one of my subscribers is willing to give me... I still forgot his name. I, I'm, I apologize again. One of my subscribers, he's willing to give me more, like the ones that I missed. And uh, I would show him off, you know, people like Morning After Kill. Morning After Kill got a pretty detailed video, uh, I got to say. That dude's good at what he does. Props to him. I'm certainly a fan of him. Um, but what was I saying? Um... <laughs> Train of thought. Worst thing ever. Oh. Sanctuary. Da 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 sanctuary. So you and I. Da 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 da. da. That's, that was a song in Kingdom Hearts. Just, just saying. Um, but why I look for a side mission here? Because I'm not running through here. Under level. Ooh. Wow. Look at this. Oh no, there's shield capacity. Dang it. <laughs> um. But yeah, I have the guns, it's going to give me more. But the thing is, I don't want to use the guns until I get them legitly. Because that's, you know, I've gotten every gun in the game once, legitly. One time. Whether it was in, like, normal mode, or voluntary mode, UVHM. I've gotten every gun in the game once. By myself. What am I doing? Here we go. Bright lights, flying city. Um, they're, those are blocked. Uh... We can't go there. Uh, I don't want to do any side missions. That's the thing. We could do that one. Do I want to? No. Let's just do this one. We can handle it. I can handle it. I'm a big boy. There's loaders and I have a terribly under-leveled weapon, right? Terribly under leveled weapon. I'm just gonna run through these things. I'm not even gonna deal with these stalkers. Screw them. Um and here I am shooting at them. Like an idiot. What was I saying? Yeah, I have the weapons. I I, I think though it's just I really, really wanna use them as I'm running through the DLC. Cause the second like, you know, six thirty comes along, I'll already be like awake. And no, we're not doing this. He has skulls. He has skulls. Can we do it? The Thresher's gonna be a freaking butt if we do it. Uh, let's head back, guys. We'll try to get to this this episode. Let's get like a level or two. I don't know how fast I could do that. But wait, there was Fink Slaughterhouse there. I wanted to do that. I completely forgot about that. Fink Slaughterhouse. I wish we could go back to Sanctuary though and get like and spend the golden keys. I think I have two, and I could get more easily. But oh well. Uh, but yeah, I really want to use the weapons as I'm running through the DLC, but that wouldn't be fair, would it? Actually, you know, the Sarah Vendor, you come across the Sarah Vendor rather early in most DLCs, correct? So I could use a few Seraph guns, right? Unless they drop from the Invincibles, which a few of them probably will. I gotta get them legitly. I, they'll, I'll be able to use a few Seraph guns just by buying them for the vendors. And I have enough Seraph, Seraph crystals to do that, so why not? I'm being destroyed. Gotta heal. Where are you, huh? Punk? Freaking. Where, where is he? Like, seriously, oh. I'm getting real tidy. Screw you. Just screw you. I don't even want to deal with you. Uh, but let's go, let's go. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? We're going back to the fridge, right? Yeah, that's right. We're going back to the fridge. The f the fridge. That's not. Why are you attacking me from behind? Get lost, you little bumble quad. There are the engines. If you heard them, I apologize. Uh, where is the fridge? Where is it? I, I, I walked past the. Fa you guys saw me. I spawned at the fast travel station. Did I break it? I think I broke it. Oh well. Um How much XP do these guys give me? No, we're just gonna roll with this, screw it. It it'll be a pain and I'll probably end up dying a few times, but that's that's okay. Let's roll with it. Screw it. I, I knew I would have I, I knew I was gonna be over under level two, but I was like, eh, screw it. Oh well, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh 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 kill all these freaking fajonkies. Hold still. But, uh, 
Yeah, so I won't use the weapon. I think I'm going to use the ogre, though. I really want, like, before I even get the ogre, I'm I'm going to use it. That that one's going to make the exception for. Because that was literally my favorite assault rifle in Borderlands 1. And I just want to see if it's up to par. I've seen Admiral Baru test it, if you know what that is. Uh, I've linked him a few times. Quite a few times. But, uh, about three or so. But, um... Yeah, it, uh... He had, like, no skill points on. He wasn't set up for it or anything. He was just showing the base damage and nothing else. Had the bar turned off, everything like that. I'm gonna freaking kill you. We can just go melee, can't we? Oh, yeah, melee. Melee everything in sight. Screw you! Repair surveyor. I'm not getting bad XP off these guys. Killing people that are... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have figured. Should have figured. That was the worst time to use that. Ever. Oh well. Yay! Kills! Anyway, my. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A white. Perfect. It still does a good amount of. See, white guns, at least they're. Like, you could rely on them in here. You can rely on them in this playthrough. Uh, not so much in true vault under mode. Definitely in an ultimate vault under mode. But, you know. Uh, I'm, I know I'm dead here. That's just a given. There's no way I'm getting out of this one alive. Can I pull it? Can I pull it? Can I pull it? Yeah! MLG Pro, bro! Do you even lift? I don't think so, bro. Uh, anyway, anyway. And corrosive's still effective against, uh, flesh enemies. There's really, it doesn't really matter what weapon you use. I mean, it'll obviously be more, I don't know, eh, it'll have <laughs> my frickin', I can't talk, I can't talk. That's why I talk too fast, just lose myself completely. Die, repair some air. Come here. I want to fight you. Yeah, screw it. Let's go. You know, come. You, you know, it even says on the loading screen, if you've ever seen it before, you probably have, that surveyors are annoying and you will hate them. It literally, like, says that. Well, but it, I remember it says you'll learn to hate them. I don't know exactly what else, but you know what I mean, right? Don't go down. Yeah, health. It's so weird playing as a low-level creek. Can, can I... Where are you? Krieg versus Stalker. No bueno. Anyway. I know I, I probably started talking about 50 million things in that in the last like five minutes that I completely forgot about. But whatever. Uh, recap. White guns are okay in this playthrough. Green guns are uh, okay in Vault Under Mode. You know. And nothing's okay in Ultimate Vault Under Mode. Nothing. How much does this do? Doesn't do that bad. Oh, he just got... Look at him! He just got, like, wrecked to the highest caliber. Holy crap. This guy's about to get wrecked. Look at that. Yeah! Where's that skill point going to? Going right here. Let me get... Light the fuse! I, I, I can only imagine how effective light the fuse will be in normal mode. I really want to try it out. See, this is things I never got to test because uh, my level 61 Krieg, I just power leveled them. Straight up. Got in a split screen account with the moonshot save. I power leveled the crap out of him. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I've done so much in this game. So much that I just don't want to do anymore. At least hard work. Screw it. I'm a YouTuber now. I don't want to do hard work. I got to, like, work on the videos. That's where the work goes. Man, I'm a. I write a lot. I'm a YouTuber. I don't have time to farm guns. I don't have. Time to level up a character. Screw that. Maybe a speed run. I've always wanted to try a speed run. Just like, you know, cr crap. Not like, you know, a professional one. Just, you know, just like an actual speed run with like a Gunzerker or a Mecro through normal mode. I did level up my Mecro 100%. No boosting whatsoever. No, come back. No power leveling. I didn't power level myself. My friends didn't power level me. That macro is 100% legitimate. Most of my other, pretty much every other character, I uh, boost. I power leveled myself from 50 to 61. But I did it once, and I said, I said to myself, never doing that again. But that's when I didn't have a good setup for the macro and stuff. It's like I ran around with no anarchy whatsoever, and anarchy is 
an incredible tool. I didn't realize how powerful a conference call was with Close Enough and Anarchy. I just never understood. Always thought it was crap. Which it is crap on a ton of other characters. I say Maya since she could slag everybody that she works out with it well. You're an enemy here? Oh. Now this is what I never wanted to do it. Uh, this sucks. Crap. No. No. <laughs> Don't kill me. You know, you think I could probably can't. You know, let's let's kill these guys since we get our health back. Come on, come on. Yes. The thing is, I'm killing everything I can use to get up off of. No, 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 no. Damn, I'm getting up though. I'm getting up. Anyway, about it, I want to talk about Tiny Tina's DLC more. If you've been following it at all, it looks like incredible. It looks like. It's it's a real work of art. It's awesome. The enemies are awesome. They're all new. All everything. They're just great. And I'm, that DLC. It's it's huge. They said it's ten hours long. Ten eight ten hours long, campaign wise. Can you believe that? What was our last DLC? I completed that in under an hour. I have a video of that. Me and two others, two subs, doing that in under an hour with assassins. It's melee assassins too. Well, two of us were melee. One was a. Using that uh, more than after kill forever alone build, which is a good build. I'm not saying anything about it. It's just you know, <laughs> uh, the thing about what, the thing it's like with that build. I love, I like it. I, I like, I have my own version of it somewhat. I'm not gonna make a video of it because it's basically stealing his. But is this no no hate on morning after kill or my sub block who you guys have seen in like a, an episode or two I believe. And I knew this was gonna happen. Crap. That ain't gonna kill him. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to pull a stopper here, guys. I think this is the end of the line. Oh, I was so close. I would have started shooting at him first. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> when does Infinities? Does Infinities alone do so much power? But he puts on the B, and is just personally to me, I I hate the B. I do. I used to love it. Back when I was a noob. Not not call him morning after kill a noob though. I'm morning after kill fan. I am. Go check him, subscribe to his channel. I usually like up all his videos. Uh but I just with the B, I just I understand if you're raid bossing with a character that's not built to like fight raid bosses, you know. Did I say raid bossing earlier? Raiding. Raiding. But it's like man. <laughs> The B, I know it does like a ton of extra damage. It's like, you know, and I don't hate anybody. If you use it, you know, that's that's fine. That's okay. Me, I just, I don't like using the B. You see my like raid boss fights. Uh, With the Gunzerker, you don't need the B. So I use the Gunzerker a good amount for raid bossing. And some may call him cheap. I just call him, you know. He's, he's technically, you know, oh crap, 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 crap. He's... He's good and like, does this have two, does this take up two ammo per shot? I think most Maliwan pistols actually do that. Two ammo per shot, yeah, wow. Um. I don't want to fight you! Um, yeah, but it's, what was I saying? God, I'm terrible. Um, oh no, pistol ammo, no! Uh, as I was saying a few measly moments ago before I completely forgot, and I'm st I still have forgotten, but I'm trying to remember as we speak something about the B. I was talking about the B, and I was talking about the Gunzerker. The Gunzerker, yes. Now, the game, the game, it's built to be multiplayer, and you all know that. It's built to be multiplayer. It's not as good as an experience if you're not playing multiplayer. That's why I'm so thankful I have a lot of you subs, so I can get full experience off it. But the Gunzerker, he's... Like, Gearbox nerfs everything, and they have not nerfed the Gunzerker, and they know how powerful he is. I think the, they just leave, you know, the Gunzerker, he's basically who you want to, like, solo the game with. He's, you can solo all raid bosses with him, and I mean all. All. I haven't done Verm, and I haven't done Dex. I've killed both before. I have. Not in UVHM, though. It's just, they're... They're complete hassles. That there's hassles with no form of good reward. And I already have all the Norfleets and the Legendary Class mod, so what I need um Verm for. I have everything in the game I want. That's why I don't really farm anymore, unless it's for a video. But 
I need pistol ammo. But yeah, he's he basically makes it so you get the full experience of the game. Besides the Verm thing, you, you, uh, there are people who have the game that have, that don't know who Vermivorous is. And granted, 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 yes, not granted, 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 they are newer to the game, like, they probably haven't padded it, like, as long as we have, like, what's, what are we on, nine months now since Borderlands 2 released, I, I believe, nine months, nine, ten, maybe, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's nine, and some have had it for, what, three or so, so it's, it's granted, if they, you know, never seen Vern before, don't even know who he is. I mean, that's understandable. But, man, there should be nothing that you should technically be deprived of. Well, not technically. You should be deprived of in a game if you're playing it alone. Although, you know, Verm is a... Verm's a punk. <laughs> Verm it really isn't hard. I really don't consider him hard at all. There's no raid boss I consider hard anymore. There's, There are some I consider challenging, but not necessarily hard. Vora and G, because of the strategy you have to use, they're challenging. Now, for, like, straight-up fighting, Vora is a challenge. He's a freaking Bobumbaquat. Uh, but, oh, God, badly, badly. You, you guys want to wanna do a DLC? <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I think we need to start a DLC. I'm terribly into Where do I, What DLC you guys want to start? Uh, you guys can hear me. Uh, I'm thinking Torg, guys. I'm personally thinking Torg. Um, I'm... Oh, crap! No! I am thinking Torg. I didn't want to press this. Oh, well. Crap! I'm not doing that bad of damage. Is this? They hurt me a lot. Oh, maybe I am doing that bad of damage. This is an E-Tech. I'm... My weapons are... Man. We really need to get back to Sanctuary, though. If we get back to Sanctuary, then everything will be fine. Uh... But anyway, as I was saying... But yeah, basically, you know, I have no problem with the Gunzerker. He's powerful, I'll admit it. You know, he could dual wield a Ruby and Unkept Herald, and that's... You know, that'll keep you alive for most boss fights. I mean, it makes the low... It makes, like, the original bosses, like, Verm and... Terra into like piss ants, truthfully. But it's a good way to heal, you know. It's a good way to heal. And with the Nog, with the what is it? Nog, what what was it called? The Nod, the Nod Gozzle, the Nog Gozzle. I think it's the Nog Gozzle. That sixty-five percent, man. You put like Unkept Herald in your other hand. Like one shot already heals you with the Ruby. Like this could like overheal. Not that it could actually like overheal heal you or anything, but you know. Uh, what do we want to... I'll do Torg. I feel like doing Torg. Can I go to the fridge, please? That's what I really want to do. The fridge. But I can't fast travel there. Why? Why, 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 why? Why? Alright. Uh, I, I should probably start this in another episode. I should probably... I'm going to do a DLC start in another episode. Man. Um. We're gonna have to roll with it. Yeah, let, let's do it. Why not? Okay. Badass critic pit attitude. What an unforgiven. Or a purple. Can't tell with these per lessons, huh? Um, but yeah, Tiny Tina's DLC. Well, I, I wanted to start talking about that. And I got sidetracked. And I was talking about, like, warning after kill 2 and my friend Block who run around with the B and stuff. And yeah, no problem when anyone runs out with the B, but you know. Um, you just, I don't know. At least for regular enemies. Like, for raid bosses, I do understand. I do understand. The B is a essential, not essential, but it is a very helpful tool. But for, like, regular, like, mob-type enemies, you know, it's like, no. I, I would never, never. Now, some regular bosses, like Saturn, I just I just don't want to deal with those, like, screw it, blow you up. Would it be Hannah Caparelt? Why not? You know, regular. It's this is my personal opinion. You know, if you do it, it, you know, you have all the right to do it. You know, I'm not hating or anything. Like I said, really got to be careful what you say on YouTube. And if you do say something, you got to make sure you back it up, and you got to make sure you apologize for it. And you got to make sure everyone knows that you don't mean it. 
how they may think you mean it. That's what I've learned from YouTube. Not that, you know, I've had any problems. But, you know. What are we at? 25. I leave this going for about like 40 minutes. I want a 40 minute episode. Um, what was that? Yeah, Tiny Tina's DLC. God dang. Um, I'm gonna make a video where I look at like all the weapons and I really like try, like think and explain like where they could be useful, L like a prediction video. You know, like where they could be useful and stuff. Cause man, I'm out of ammo and everything. Cause it'd be nice having that insight, you know. Now, personally, the damage, the numbers may look good, but I've learned this from Seraph guns and other guns in the past. The numbers don't mean anything. They really don't. The numbers mean absolutely nothing. Which, you know, it kind of doesn't make any sense. But, you know, I want to talk about, I'm going to make a video of that. Maybe, I'm recording this on the 19th. You guys either will get this on the 20th or the 21st. Oh, and a commando build. I promised one of every build before I, um, before the DLC launches. So I have a few days to do that, and I need to level up my commando. So I will get that. I will meet my deadline. I will meet my deadline before the 25th. Commando build it. You, you will all get. Um, at least one, you know. I promised one of every character, and I've done one of every character. Have I? Yeah, I have. I think the most I've ever done... I think I did like what? I did three from a macro, yeah I did. That was the most I did. And I think I did one of each for everyone else, besides the psycho. Psycho got two. Psycho is awesome. Krieg. I don't have any serif crystals, but there's a there's a chest back here. I've gotten legendaries in this chest. Or legendary. Got an infinity in here once. But the thing is, I had I already had like perfect infinity, so I was like, oh, screw it. I don't, I don't really, I don't want you. I just, I took it and I sold it. I, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want my melee. Oh wait, let me. Slag. I'll take that. Ammo, ammo. Oh, I bought ammo. I don't have any. I, I <laughs> there's no reason I should. Well, I would even ask that. Have syrup crystals. Yeah, I'm going to make a video where I, like, really look at them and, like, see... Like, I've seen their effects. I've seen Admiral Baru's videos and st videos and stuff. So I know about the guns. I just want to, like, make predictions before it comes out. Like, the, like, the, like, these guns... I really don't think Gearbox is going to disappoint us again when it comes to guns. They've added new purples. These purples are better than the other purples. Than, like, purples you could you get now. At least they look better, and their numbers are better, and I really ran past where I was supposed to go. So, I don't think they're going to disappoint us. They're, they cannot afford to disappoint. Did they disappoint? Personally, I really do think they want to keep this game running as long as they can. Because Randy said it once. He said, we're not even going to focus anything on Borderlands 3 until Borderlands, until we're done with Borderlands 2 completely. And you know, that's really great. That is really great. Oh, crap. Yeah! See, crow damage and stuff does not do nearly as much to you in this camp, in this, like, playthrough. In freaking. In, like, UVHM, you gotta heal. Like, if you get corroded or on fire, you better start healing quick. Uh, let me get back to what I was saying. Yeah. The, the video. Ooh, is that a. Oh, it's not nearly. I thought that was a green. Never mind. Let's go. Um, as I was saying. Yeah, I'm gonna look into the guns and stuff, give my predictions. I don't think they're gonna But yeah, Gearbox yeah, Randy said he said that. He said um he wasn't going they weren't gonna do anything with Borderlands three until Borderlands two was completely done. And what company would not want to make a game last for as long as they can? Because they keep getting money and they don't have to make a new get an, an entire new game. Personally, if this DLC does well, which I believe it will, I believe that Gearbox really stepped up their game and gave us what we wanted when um good weapons and a nice sizable this is a very sizable do you see what I wonder is how the heck did they fit it into two gigabytes because that's the limit when it comes to DLC how did they fit that sucker I think they gotta pay a fine if they don't maybe they maybe they did maybe I hope it's not more than two gigabytes you know I mean if it is okay I'll delete something but there's nothing I really want to delete 
on my hard drive. I got a, I have the original Xbox, like the basic white one, basic 360, and it came with 60 gigs. And I thought that was big back then, until all these like bigger hard drives came came out, and I was like, oh my god, no. And I got like, I got Borderlands, I got Borderlands 2 installed on here, just in case it gets scratched or anything. And I have Bor Borderlands 1, I've downloaded it, I downloaded that game. When I first ever got the game, I downloaded it, because I was too lazy to go get it. Same with Halo 4. And Halo 4, if you don't think about Halo 4, that's a big game, and the thing is, the multiplayer doesn't come with it. You have to download Spartan Ops and War Games. If only War Games is the mul multiplayer, Spartan Ops, like cooperative multiplayer type thing. Um, I haven't downloaded Spartan Ops, so that's two more gigs that I probably, and I'm never going to really download it, because I don't have the space. I have 2.4 gigs left in this hard drive, and that's for the last DLC. Eventually, I'm going to have to delete something. I think the next is going to be Saints Row 2. But my friend like just got that a while back, and, you know, want to play with him, but eventually, you know, that, that game's going to have to go. That's a great game, though. I really recommend it if you're uh, if you've only played Saints Row 3, Saints Row... Well, you know, I'm not going to get into Saints Row right now. I'm not, why am I waiting over here? There's enemies over here to be killed. Rawr! How good is my aim? How good is my aim? Rawr! Rawr! It sucks. Yeah, it really sucks. I was like right up in his face. Ooh! Pictures. I'll take that. Hang it up. Put some jelly on it. Wait, what? Um, yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I really don't think they're going to disappoint us with this, deal, with this DLC. There's no way. They're not going to do it. I have faith in them. The only time I've, I've never... I, like, I lost faith in them once is when Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode came out. And I was having such a hard time. I was like, they ruined my favorite game. No. No. Yeah, I was disappointed. Then I realized I was just doing it all wrong. I was doing it all wrong. And now I've adapted, you know, still love the game. I prefer times three health instead of times four. And the same with the shields. Health regen, that could stay. I never have a problem with that. But, really, I just, I, you know, I prefer it, but whatever. It could stay this way. It's okay. Uh, raid bosses, they could stay with the same amount of health, just to be more challenging. You know. Uh, whatever, that's, that's why. Yeah, the, the guns! The guns! I'm gonna give you guys, like, my in-depth predictions. In-depth predictions about these guns. Like, obviously, the Florentine, Slag, and Jock, and it has good like stats all around that's that's gonna be great for a spec down mecro like take my voltaic anarchist or my daughter of thor that'll work great with it it doesn't slag you like the two lane and no i don't know in admiral baru's video we'll hit in the comment section of his video he said um lack they, they were lack a lot of them were lack luster now uh i really hope that's not true I really do. But when I saw his video, he, you know, he had no skill points, no bar on, no no extra like class mod or anything to help him out. He was just testing him without it. Uh now he probably went to actual combat and tested and some of the things he found they could be incredibly overpowered. Like there's a way to he said there's a way to shoot 36 Norfleet rockets, Norfleet orbs at once. That's pretty spectacular and pretty overpowered, I gotta say. Because I personally, I think the bee's overpowered. So, 36 Northly rockets, uh, that's a little overpowered. Just a teensy weensy bit. And I'll put a bee on that. And no, never. Never do that. Never. Sounds like a terrible idea. Why'd I even say that? Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm having fun. You guys having fun? I'm having fun. I don't know how much fun you could have watching a video, but you know, I've managed it before. A curb blaster and it's plump. I want a herald. That's what I want a herald. Can I have a herald, please? I want a herald. It's a bang stick. Look at my bang stick. It's better than yours. I'm gonna bang you with my bang stick. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> that that I didn't mean to say that. Uh, this is my bang stick and it is very thick. It's my thick bang stick and I love it. No, I'm supposed to stay over here, aren't I? Um, yeah, let me get back to the DLC. I have to keep straying from that topic. I just go everywhere. Since this, since this is a Let's Play, I could talk about technically whatever I want, as long as it's relevant to the game. Well, relevant to the game. That's why I just pushed the Saints Row aside when I, said, when I brought that up earlier. Uh, I wonder how good this bank stick's going to be. It's a thick bank stick, and, you know, I've always... Every time I've seen a thick bank stick, is, is that thick or straight? This is straight. 
Oh, it says the second I saw the thick bang stick is a blue, and the second I saw it, I I fell in love with its name, and I always like every time I see one, I pick one up. Now I end up selling them eventually, but um, I did store one for a very long time, about a few months, and I was like, uh, bank space, I'm selling you. And that's how that happened. Can I run forward, please? Actually, it's see white guns. It's best to enjoy white guns while you can, because you'll never ever get to use them again. My controller is acting funky. The analog stick. My controllers, they just suck. They always die. It's probably me. I always kill them. I just destroy them. Oh, did he say it? As he said, this message is irrelevant yet. Yeah, that's my second favorite line in the game. Actually, my third. Because my, my first is when Zafford says, piss on me, eyes. That was, that was... I was laughing forever. I was like, that was the best line ever, and I still say it. Ask a few, there's a few of my subscribers that if you could find, you could ask. I say piss on me eyes all the time, and it drives them crazy. I even say it a few of my friends. Piss on me eyes. Um, my second one is, uh, that sentence had too many syllables. Apologize, which is a great line, and that's like Anthony Burgess' comedic genius. And I personally, I do think he's a very good writer. At least, you know, his strength is definitely comedy. His strength is definitely comedy. I'm not saying that he's weak and everything else. No, he's not. He's a good, solid writer. And his strengths in comedy. Now, you know, I'm like I said, like a few of you, a good amount of you probably know, I write. I'm a writer. Uh, none published yet. I got a poem published. Published. Pub blub 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 blub. Pub glub glub. Pub glub glub glub. Published. In a, I got a poem published, rather dark poem, in a, a high school magazine. It's like, oh, that's pretty cool. Why not? I have no idea how the thing got published. That did not seem too school appropriate. Uh, it's not that any bad words or anything. I mean, it's, it's kind of, kind of dark. Die. But yeah, I'm a writer. Personally, when I write, I know I could do comedy rather well. It's just I. I write more serious stories, more darker stories, so it's like, oh, I could probably use the same one. So it's like, oh, he said it. I know he must have said this message is irrelevant, and I missed it. I can't hear any game volume I record, guys, and I jumped off. Screw the ammo. Screw it. How many bullets is he? One? Okay, good. For some reason, I always think Torg guns are going to use more ammo than they should. That's because the only Torg gun I use is the Unkept Herald. Um, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Down me, yay. Oh, I thought I still had my electric grenade on. I don't need to slag anybody in this playthrough. I don't even have this. Back my Tesla. But yeah, I write darker stories. And I'm gonna go in depth in uh well not in depth. I'm gonna I'm gonna make another subscriber interaction time video. That's due. That's due. What it seemed like is a lot of you enjoyed it. A lot of you found it cool that I like to write and stuff and found uh what I said about my the little bit I said about my book, Last Sunset, rather cool. So I'll, I'll tell you what Last Sunset's about in more detail soon. I'm going to get around to it. And if I don't get to it by the time DLC launches, then you know you're going to have to wait a good <laughs> good while. I will get to it, though, eventually. Personally, my lesser book, well, the one I consider lesser, Fallen, that's the one I, uh... That's the one that would be way easier to talk about. But... You know, uh, last sunset, I feel I could talk about it easier. Even though they both, when I, like, explain them, to me at least, they sound stupid. It's like, it's like, if any of you play Kingdom Hearts, I'll talk about that for just a second. Kingdom Hearts is like a, a game where it has, like, these original characters all put in, in a bunch of Disney worlds. Like, you go from Disney World to Disney World, fight, like, against darkness and stuff. And explaining it, the game sounds so freaking stupid, at least not to me, because I'm an insane insane Disney fan. I love Disney to the bottom of my heart. But to anyone else who's not really a Disney fan, you know, it's like, okay, I'll enjoy, like, like they'll see a movie, they'll enjoy it. But, you know, not like hardcore or anything. It will sound stupid to them. Then they play, it's like, oh my god, this is one of the best games ever. Of all time. Red vs. Blue reference right there. Um, That's a rather broad reference, but, oh well. But yeah, it's like uh, one of those things. I forgot what I was saying again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm so bad. I've gone through so many different topics. 
I was talking about how, you know... Oh, no, I don't want to fight the arena Goliath. What am I doing? What am I doing? I can't see. Am I going to die? No, no, no! Yeah! That's what happens when I get too in-depth in the conversation. Anyway, yeah, my books, they, uh... To me, uh, to me, at least to me, I'll, like, go to explain them, and I'll see... And I'll, like, think, how stupid are these? Um... Oh, we're at 40 minutes. I'm not done talking. This is going to be a 50-minute episode. <laughs> the thing is, some of you will watch it. Some of you probably already left, and some of you, you know, are may about to leave. Who knows? You know, but I know uh, there. Some of you do watch the, the thing in entirety, and what I or you do what I do with long videos, and you you go in, you play the video, and you listen to it. But you don't actually watch it, cause really a let's like this let's play. Like personally, I think the ones of you that do watch it is because you watch it for me and not the let's play. Cause if you're like most Borderlands players, you've gone through the game several times and going through it as Krieg, or at least watching someone go through it as Krieg, is not gonna be too fun. It's like it's not something you'd watch. Like if this thing had no commentary, I I think like maybe only one or two of you may watch it be honest but you know it's just my hypothesis if, if i'm wrong if i'm wrong then i'm sad if i'm wrong then i am very sad but oh well i'm in here and i'm killing things and we haven't even freaking prepared the arena so what the, what the hell man this is such bullcrap such bullcrap anyway maybe we could get a eventually we get another injector out of the machine that'd be cool yeah, as i was saying uh i'll explain like last sunset and maybe i'll explain fall on one time too you know I have no problem talking about, like, my writing and stuff. This won't want to give too much away. I plan to publish those eventually. Last Sunset first, though. Last Sunset first. Anyway, the DLC. What was I talking about with the DLC? Oh, yeah. The Florentine will be great for the Mecro, is, like, what I'm thinking. Well, I'm not going to talk about the guns too much now, because, you know. I've talked about... I'm going to make a video on that, anyway. Going to go pretty in-depth. Probably be a good, solid, maybe 15-minute video. Because, you know, I just want to, like, I, I want to really look at them. I want to really, really look at them. Oh, crap. Yeah, I really want to, like, look at them and, like, get, like, a good feel, get, like, some guesses going. So when I do actually use them, I do start testing them and stuff, seeing what goes well with what and stuff. You know, it'll be, it'll be all right. What I saw is the, the crit. Now, the crit, I am rather excited for. Because the thing about the why do I never do... Do, 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 do. See, I never pay attention, ever. If I'm talking to anybody, even if I'm talking to myself, technically, I just never pay attention, ever. I pay attention to, you know, the conversation, of course, just not what I'm doing at the time. No. Uh, uh, that may sound like a burp, but it's not. It's me going, uh, wow, wow, wow. That's, that's a weird noise. <laughs> um, what was I saying? God damn. I always forget. Man, my memory's terrible. I gotta I gotta stick with one topic. I really gotta start doing that. Keeping one topic on the video. You know what? I've had up to hear you. That's it. That's it. Come come, come here. Come. Don't you even dare. Don't you even dare. You little pissant. Splash damage. Are you are you I'm ending the episode, guys. <laughs> I'm ending the episode now. It's it's ended. That's it. That's it. No. 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 It, we're done. We're done. We're done with this episode. We're done with it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'll get right on recording another one. Like, I'll record it legitimately afterwards. Um. What time is it? I should probably go record Save the K. People do want that. Anyway, guys. Uh, that's the episode. Don't know what episode it is. And I probably won't know what episode the next one is. But, uh. Yeah. Uh, we'll... Pick it off right back here, probably in a few seconds. Uh, does, not for you, but for me. <laughs> you guys probably get this episode a day or so after. You probably won't ever get this. Nah, you'll get this before the DLC launches. Anyway, that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, I'm going to record another one. Uh, sorry for... I've gone through a lot of topics here and just never finished any of them. I'm going to do better next episode. I promise you, okay? I promise. Uh, yep. Okay. I uh, See you later.